my name is Tom Silke, and I'm an application engineer supporting the Field Fox Combination Handheld Analyzers. I'm going to take a quick look at a opportunity and the operation of the Field Fox in the Spectrum Analyzer mode and use with the preamp. So the first thing we'll do here is we're going to perform a preset on the Field Fox. We'll then enter into the Spectrum Analyzer mode. From there, we'll let the analyzer sweep one trace, uh, get a full trace here. And this is a, a spectrum analyzer. We have the preamp off, and we're going to take a look at the default RF attenuation in auto mode, and it is 10 dB. From there, we'll put this trace into memory. We'll view this trace, trace 1. We'll activate a second trace, trace 2, and we will activate the preamp. So trace 1 is static, trace 2 is dynamic, and once we activate the preamp, what you'll see is you'll see the noise floor actually surprisingly rise, and that's going to happen right about now when we say preamp on. And the problem is, and the reason it's not really a problem, the problem this happens is because with the attenuation in auto mode, as we'll see, we're at 30 dB. So the preamp, the gain of the preamp and the 30 dB loss actually causes the noise floor to rise. So what we'll do, we'll put that trace, trace 2, into a hold. We'll add trace 3. We are now trace 3, and we will change the attenuation back to the uh, prior level of 10 dB, and then we'll see that preamp really improve the noise figure as one would expect. So right now, we're going into the scale amplitude, and we're entering the uh, RF attenuation to 10 dB. This is trace 3, and you can see the noise floor has dropped down significantly, as one would expect. The next thing we'll do is we're going to put this trace into memory, and we're going to optimize the attenuation to 0 dB. The lowest displayed average noise level, and that's going to be with the input attenuator set to 0. So we'll go back into the scale amplitude, we'll go into the RF attenuation, and rather than have it at 10 dB, we will put it at 0, and that'll be our dynamic trace, trace 4. So we've got trace 1 uh, at default, 10 dB, no preamp. Trace 2, default, preamp on, 30 dB. Trace 3, preamp on, 10 dB attenuation. And trace 4, 0 dB attenuation. And that sets us up displayed average uh, noise level dynamic range, thus the minimum absolute dy displayed average noise level.